You're watching the number one broadcast for all University of Kentucky sports, the Loyal BBN Fan Show, and it starts right now. I hate pride. Pride is such an ugly thing, and it makes people do things that maybe they normally wouldn't do. Being an athlete, coming in so highly rated, sometimes things can get tainted and you're not the person that that maybe you thought you was. But then pride kicks in and says, well, I'm much better than what I've been for a certain period of time. And maybe, and maybe when I move on, maybe I get better, you know? Maybe things in my life will just consistently be at a high level. Justin Edwards has declared for the NBA draft. Proud of you, young guy. Go get your bag. Go do your thing, man. I hope to hear your name on draft night. I hope you can land. I hope you have all the success in the world that your heart desires. You, your family, your corner, maybe agent, maybe teams in the league, and Coach Cal has said, yes, this is the best time for you to go. Could be. It really could be. We saw flashes particular times throughout the year that says, yo, you can ball, kid. You can do your thing, man. You can do your thing. But why is it that coming back to college for one more year such a bad thing? Why does it get a bad rep that, well, I'm a superstar kid. I'm supposed to automatically, I'm a McDonald's All-American. I'm supposedly automatically do one year and get out of college. Or, or was this one of those situations where Calipari knew that because he already has a young, very young class coming in of six freshmen, was this a situation where Cal knew that I don't have the luxury of trying to mature someone in, a, in year two, and I need to get somebody in here that's mature to win now? So if he has, if Edwards has any inklings of wanting to go pro, is this a situation where Cal Perry then said, yes, I think you can do this? Was Cal's hands in a position where I, I have to clear a boy. I have to get some of these kids out of here so I can try to go out. Does Calipari understand? Does he know that, that this year I've got to make it far in the tournament? And that, that means i got to push the kids, even if I don't want to, because we go back to Cal. Cal says I'm not, I'm not pushing kids out the door. I'm not turning up scholarship. I'm, I'm, I'm going to encourage the kids – to maybe come back if they need to. Is this a situation where Cal says, I got to move on. I got to get somebody with experience in. You have some fan, you have some of the fan base that says, Cal should have probably pushed for, Edward, for Edwards to come back. Someone says, it's okay, let Edwards come, let him leave, and bring somebody more mature into the house that's ready to, to ball out the first day on campus. That Cal doesn't have to hold their hand and try to figure out, can they play basketball or not? Now, with that being said, Justin Edwards, like I, Justin Edwards, he had flashes of being really good this year. And I think his best game in a Kentucky uniform, without a doubt, was against Alabama. That was his best ball game of his college career. He did decent against Tennessee at the end of the year or two as well. But he went out the last – and I was meaning to, to look this up too. Uh, I was meaning to look that up. My fault. He was uh, – his last game in uniform, 
his last game in uniform, it wasn't good. You know, but none of them had good games. So I don't want to I don't want to necessarily put this off on Edwards because, you know, that Edwards didn't have a good ball game. So maybe he should um, maybe he should really, really overthink this thing. Maybe he should really see what happens. Let me see. I want to see something for a second. Um, bench. Where's, where's Kentucky? Kentucky. Justin had he played 16 minutes, 10 minutes. He played. Justin played 16 minutes. He had 10 points and one assist. You go into the league. We're playing a team like Oakland, and you're and you're only in a position that you can only play 16 minutes against a team like Oakland. You had no. You had what? He had no rebounds. He finished the ball game against Oakland with no rebounds. Mmm. Mmm. Come on. I'm just saying. Like, you 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 you're going to and this is not a hate video on Edwards. It's not. I think a lot of fan base said to themselves, if we can get a second year mature uh Justin Edwards to come back, it's amazing what he would do. It's amazing the growth that he would make. P.J. Washington, a dude made a big jump. Um, these guys who are coming back, Willie Collins Stein, he came back for a year. Uh, Alex, he stayed to he stayed for four years. Like this, like this ideal that kids have just got to come to college, and just because a year later you was in the um, uh, 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 McDonald's All American ball game, and then you feel like because all the hype has been there your whole life, that now it's just time for you to go pro. Some kids just understand. I gotta stick around one more year. I gotta, I gotta get my game up. Whether it's physical, or it's mentally, or what, I need one more year to get there. You get the players of the years um, in, in 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 college basketball that's coming back for a second and third year. Why? Because they understand, man. I still got some stuff that I gotta work on. Now, some of those guys in different positions. Yeah, would they really, really be effective in the NBA? Probably not. Does Justin Edwards has does he have what it takes to be an elite player in the league one day? Maybe, maybe he does. But my thing is, I and I hate to say this, but like you can't even have a breakout game against Oakland. Like you want to go and and you want to be one of the '60s who hear their names in the NBA draft. You want to be one of the 60 who hear their names. Come on, man. We, we just like, but as a Kentucky fan, I truly say thank you. I, I thank you for choosing Kentucky. I thank you for, for coming to Kentucky. Uh, we, we, we definitely rooted for you all year long. We wanted you to be the, the guy that everyone anticipated you to be coming out the year. It wasn't the best year, but the games that you was able to, to go off and do your best, we all surrounded you with happiness and joy because the only thing that we wanted to see as Kentucky fans is to see you have success and just be – and just go out there and just play ball the way that you can. And that didn't happen all year long. But that doesn't make you a bad person. It doesn't make you someone that maybe can't play basketball. That just means that it just didn't get done this year. So the maturity – the maturity thing is what gets to me. It's like saying, okay, maybe I'm not mature enough. It could be Jay Boston. We thought, hey, he thought he was ready to go to the NBA. Oh, no, I'm I'm staying one year, and I'm out of here. I'm going to the league. Where is he at? Where is he at? I mean, seriously, like he was this good high school player, comes to college, and he gets slid up under the Western name. Now, he's still in the G League. He's still got time. Anything can happen. The kid can get pulled up. The guy can get pulled up at any time and go to the league and continue to play. It could happen. Oscar, congratulations to you. Player of the year for, um, uh, for, the, um, for, the, uh, for the G League, D League, or whatever. Um, congratulations to you for that. National consensus, All-American. Player of the year. Where's he at? He's playing in what's the name? That's what I'm saying. Like, 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 it's okay. You don't have to listen to like, I gotta go play NBA after one year. Like, I, I just can't go back. If, 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 if I go back to Kentucky, I'm considered a failure. No. 
sometimes in life doing the doing the unpopular thing, in this case, going back to school for another year, getting some more experience, coming back in as a, as a soft, as um, as sophomore Justin Edwards. Sometimes those decisions can be very, very good. Like really, they can be really, really good. But sometimes we just like, hey, I gotta go. I gotta go get my money right now. I gotta go get paid. I gotta go hear my name called. You're an athlete, okay? And barring getting hurt, you go into the league, man. But sometimes it's sometimes you have to stay two years. And there's nothing wrong with that. But as Kentucky fans, you will always be a Wildcat fan in our hearts. Once a Wildcat, always a Wildcat. We will always continue, continue to, to cheer you on, to root for the best for you, like we do all the other one and done. You're still part of the family, and we will always support you, and we will be rooting for you on draft night that we hear your name sooner than later. But we haven't saw your name in draft picks. We just haven't. Not like you may want it to be. And I'm sorry, but if I was going to be a number 32, anywhere from 32 to last, but I knew I had the ability to be higher than that if I came back for one more year of college, it would be tempting not to. It, it would really be tempting because you don't have time to put your, you know what I'm saying? Mental health is real. So this is no knock on mental health. Okay, not not at all. I'm I'm a person that 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 personally understands that. Okay, I personally understand that. This is no attack on on mental health, but you can't take a night off in the NBA. Like every night you like this is like you think college is a business. That, that's all the NBA is. It's just a business. People get fired. People get let go. Players get traded. All this kind of stuff. If you're not, like, I mean, if you go to college and you don't have a good year, no one's going to pull your scholarship. You can transfer because maybe your playing time is getting ready to go way down. But but no one's going to trade you. Be like, hey, I'm trading you because, well, you, you're here at the University of Kentucky and you're not really playing. You're not really playing up to standards. So we're going to trade you. This is a big business right here. This is, the, like, like, this is grown man stuff. We wish you best, man. But I really think for myself is that Cal, whether Cal wanted to keep him or not, I think Calipari says, my hands are tied. If you have the smallest inkling that you want to go pro, I encourage you to. Because I got to go up here and I got to go get this. I got to go get this transfer senior. I got to go get this fifth-year senior, um, um, senior right here that I don't have to – I'm not going to have to hold his hand. I'm not going to – I'm not going to have to really wonder where he's at. And I'm going to go ball because Cal doesn't have the luxury of saying, okay, I'm going to groom. I'm going to continue to groom players. I got six freshmen that I got to groom. I got six freshmen that I got to groom. This is where my attention is going to be at. Those other players, I got to know that they're good. I got to know that these guys are good. I got to get these other six young freshmen along with a 16-year-old that's basically just turned to 17. I got to get these guys ready. I need these guys to be okay. And then I need these guys to help me with them. It is kind of what it is at this point now. But, hey, I'm so happy that you get to live out your dream. And as a parent – I get it. As a parent, I get it. Oh, you oh, you going to the NBA? Oh, you, you get to hear your name? Oh, where? Oh, well, probably number 45, 50, 51. But you get to hear your name? Oh, for the NBA? Oh, oh, son, daughter, we out. We going to the league. I have to believe in my heart, though, as a dad. Now, if he's a if he's a top 10. He's top. What is it? Top fourteen for I think, which is uh, which is lottery in the NBA. You top fourteen. Mm, okay. You know what, son? You know you might have to go. But I think, in my opinion, is and you know it, until you until me or anyone else is in this position, do we really know what we really would do? Do we really know what we would say to our kids? 
Really? I mean, we're in that situation. Life changing money. We get it. But we got NIL now. And if you can, if Cal can, if Kentucky can do NIL the right way, and if they can be the gold standard in college basketball when it comes to terms of NIL, if they can do it the right way, come on. It's, it's endless possibilities. It's the University of Kentucky. They got to do things the right way, man. For real. Good luck to you, Justin Edwards. The Kentucky Wildcat fan base, the Big Blue Nation, we salute you. We thank you. We was with you when you was down, going through your going through your troubles, everything. We loved it when you came out of it. We will still always support you. Um, we hope that you continue to maybe get help that you need mentally, physically, whatever it is that you that you and your family and your corner, your agents or whoever think that you need. We hope that you're able to get that. And we hope that you can go to the NBA and thrive and be the best. We hope to see you on All-Star Weekend one weekend soon and just continue to build and be the best player that you can possibly be and represent Kentucky in the right way and go out there in the NBA and ball and ball out. Do what you do, young fella, and we're behind you. So this is not a video to come and bash Edwards for deciding to go to the NBA. This is all about I hate it that pride gets in the way of kids and family sometimes because, they, oh, well, your son, he went to college being a highly ranked guy, and look at him. He, he was a bust his first year, so he's got to go back to college. It happens, man. That's when you got to have a mature person say, you know what? Look, we're going to put all that outside, and we're going to focus on really what can really help you be better at the next, at the next level. And sometimes parents have to say, I think it's best if you go back one more year. I think it's best if you don't set this out no more. Go, go ahead and go on back to college for one year. Let's get stronger. Let's get bit. Let's get mentally stronger as well, too. And I think that's a big aspect of it. And I think sometimes parents have to make those difficult decisions to tell their son or daughter that right now is not your time. Right now is not your time. But it's coming. So we'll see what happens and whatever. So now this is very interesting. We know Justin Edwards is out the door. Uh, Dio, don't know if he's coming back or not. So right now, you know, I'm, I don't know if Cal has said, okay, I'm going to leave a spot open for you just in case if you return. I don't know that. But I at least know now because also another thing to take in consideration for Edwards is in his speech, he never says I'm leaving the door open to return to Kentucky like a dude did. So when you got a player who basically says, I ain't, I'm not even, I'm not even gonna entertain coming back to college, then you can pretty much count it 99.9% of the time, this kid is leaving. So Cal has that, Cal has that open position. Cal needs to go fill it. And Cal, do the right thing. Get somebody in here that's gonna come in here and that's gonna ball with leadership, maturity, physicality, everything. Go get that guy. This is your opportunity. Thank you guys once again for tuning in to the Loyal BBN Fan Show. Congratulations to Justin Edwards. Calipari, go get the right guy. Don't let pride keep you from making the right decisions that you're supposed to make in, in situations like this because pride can really, can really mess you up and can really throw you off, your, off the path that you're really supposed to be on just because you didn't have the patience to wait just a little bit longer. So that's how that goes. Thank you for joining in. I'm Michael. This is the Loyal BBN Fan Show. I'm out.